Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, hey! What? Oh, 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 oh. Get off! What's going on? Hey! Two! Two! Go! You asked to cook him? We're no, going they for the three million, everybody. They said dry it! No. They said dry it! <laughs> go get ah! it! Go get it! For a huge cookout like this, we need a big smoker. And at 2 a.m., this is what arrived. I don't know about you, but this is the biggest smoker I've ever seen in my life. This thing is humongous. But that was not enough because remember, we're doing a 3 million subscriber special. So we went ahead and got the biggest drum smoker in the world. Now this thing is a beast. Just moving it around, we need a forklift. Because for today's cook, we're doing something really epic. And I cannot wait for you to see the results. Now the smoker itself is something else. Are you ready for this? I, I, don't, I don't think I could do anything to be ready, but you're just going to have to do it. That's right. <laughs> to ensure that the wood is nice and dry, we put it underneath. We also have several other cookers around. That's because we're going to be preparing the most amount of food I've ever did in my life. The first task was to get the stack up. And this thing is heavy. But with four guys, we managed to do it. Now, this smoker is quite impressive. You're wondering how big it is? We're talking about a thousand gallons and about two tons. That's how big it is. If you think I can run this thing by myself, it is impossible, everybody. I just can't do it. So I got Jeremy here from Mad Scientist Barbecue. You gotta help me out. I, there's no way I can do this. Well, happy to. All right, what are we cooking? We're cooking half a cow, three million special. Half a cow, Wagyu cow. Oh, not even a regular cow. We're cooking a Wagyu cow, everybody. Okay, enough talking. Yeah, Let's just do it. Foods. Take it to the top. Let's just do it. In order for that to happen, the first thing we needed to do is to get the tables ready. And after laying down some parchment paper, trust me, it was not enough. So we went ahead and used two. Now that might be able to do the job. Because as we started to gear up, we went to see where the cow actually was. And that face says it all. Now here's where everything starts getting really exciting. Because this thing is heavy. We had to use a tarp in order to manage. But not only that, we had to break apart the refrigerator in order for this to happen. And as we start taking it out, all hands are on deck. We definitely needed all the help we can get. Don't believe me? This is the workout for today, everybody. No joke. And believe me, that was a good workout. Now, the next big challenge was to put this on the table. And this, I'll just let you listen. One, two, three, let's go. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's completely slippery. Let me Let's go. Okay. With seven of those, we were not able to take it out. So I decided to trim a little bit of the fat. Once that was done, we managed to put a rack right underneath. And with everyone's help, this is what happened. So close. Pick it up! Oh, my finger almost got jammed. Let's go! Did it! Divider! Yeah, man. Yeah! That was no joke. No joke indeed. This thing is humongous, and I am so honored to be able to cook this for you guys. Now let me give you a little bit more information about this piece of meat, and for that I got Tim to explain. This is a 100% full blood Wagyu beef that we raised at our farm in New Haven, Missouri. 100% Wagyu. 100%. It's not American mix, it's Wagyu, no, no it's nothing. 50 /50 here. Oh man, we're going all out everybody. Yeah. How big is this thing right now? Right now, it's about 450 pounds. This was about a 1,400 pound live weight cattle. Tim, it did not feel like that. It felt like <laughs> a thousand pounds. <laughs> it definitely did. As you can probably already tell, this has a lot of fat. So we got four people to go ahead and start the trimming. This was really no joke. Because you gotta remember one thing, if we don't remove it, it's just gonna go to waste. That is the last thing we want. We gotta put this wonderful fat to go to good use. So we made sure to trim a good amount. And as we kept going with the trimming, you can see the Wagyu beef being revealed. Now that is what I'm talking about. Now the biggest challenge of this cook is the massiveness this thing is. And try to cook everything to perfection is gonna be hard. And the more we trim, the better this thing started looking. And as always, we gotta trim both sides. And flipping this is no joke. Being extremely careful not to cut each other, we went ahead and finished the other side. And we had a crazy ridiculous amount of fat left. And as we continued working, it was time to take a break. The first meal was this beautiful Wagyu Tomahawk. This should give us a lot of energy to continue the work. Since we had a lot of people, we decided to go ahead and make some tacos. That was great to give us some energy. However, it was still not enough. So we went ahead and threw in some Wagyu Picanha into the smoker. Now when you're cooking it on the smoker after, you need to get a good sear. For that, we went ahead and got the grill as hot as possible and seared this thing up. And honestly, this was a boost of energy that we all needed. This is absolutely delicious. So once all the bellies were full, it was time to get back to work. And remember, we just finished trimming that whole thing. And here's what we had to do next. Perfectly trimmed. The only thing left to do is to get a season in the smoker. We're gonna inject it first, Jeremy. We're gonna inject it with more tallow. Be just because it doesn't have enough, right? It doesn't have enough. We're gonna do even more. We're gonna take everything to 11. Let's be specific. Wagyu tallow. <laughs> now I've done an experiment where we inject tallow into the beef and it does make everything better. You gotta remember this thing is gonna be cooking for a very long time. So a little bit of fat inside does not 
hurt. And when I say a little bit, you know what I mean. Because as we all know, fat makes everything taste better. Then we went ahead and started with the seasoning. And we're talking about a ridiculous amount of salt. We're using kosher salt because we think that's the best. And it does not matter how much we put, there's no way that we can over season it. Since this is a large piece of meat, there's no way that it's going to penetrate deeply inside. Wait, 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 wait. salt day? Yeah, why not? that guy. Once the salt was done, it was time for the black pepper. So yeah, this is the most amount of salt and pepper I've ever used in my life. If I'm not mistaken, we used about 8 pounds of salt and 8 pounds of pepper. It is a crazy amount. And to say that we were all exhausted was an understatement. You look tired? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work, man. This is no joke, everybody. I'm telling you right now. Not at all. Oof. To boost up the energy, it was time to eat once again. And for that, Tim went ahead and made some incredible ribs. They were absolutely phenomenal. A nice, sweet, tangy taste was perfect to boost up the morale. Huge shout out to Joe and Josh. You guys should definitely check them out on the description. We also had some incredible jumbo lobsters. We just threw them in the smoker and chopped them up. Because what we really all wanted was some brisket. And this one turned out fantastic. To say that this thing was juicy was an understatement. After that boost of energy, it was time to get back to work. I'll be honest with you, there's no way we can pick this up and put it in there right now. Not gonna happen. I think we should split it into a couple different pieces. That'll help it cook a little faster and make it possible for us to transfer because otherwise without like a forklift it's not getting in there that's right i'm no forklift and neither are you <laughs> no. uh. using a hand saw jeremy went to town that was a tremendous amount of work after the first cut he immediately passed it on to me and i'll tell you one thing this is hard work i quit maybe i won't quit let's go because we were finally able to separate the pieces. This thing is humongous, everybody. And as we're splitting everything up, it allows us to see the beautiful intramuscular fat this thing has. As now, we have to go ahead and prep the cookers. We're gonna be using real wood. Having Joe to manage the fire there was awesome. Firing it up takes quite some time. And you can actually imagine how long it takes to get it up to temp. Talking about that, we are aiming for 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Because once that was reached, it was time to throw in all of the meat. And after all of us being extremely exhausted, we went ahead and did our best to put this thing inside. We were all struggling because this was no joke. In the end, with everyone's help, we managed to do it. Remember that we're not only cooking a Wagyu cow, we're also cooking a Mangalista pig. We finally got everything inside of the smoker. How does it feel, Jeremy? Feels good, but I'm tired. I am too. Yeah, it's no joke, everybody. Now it's going to take a long time to cook this thing, right, Jeremy? Probably about 24 hours. We're going to be spending the whole night cooking this thing. It's a lot of work. Make sure you guys check out his channel, Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm going to put it on the link on the description down below so you can see it right after this video because I'll tell you one thing there's a lot that is going to be behind the scenes that you guys won't get to see here I love to explore the science and so we go through the nuts and bolts of how I cook this thing and I think you're gonna see some minds be blown by incredible beef that's gonna be cooked with a lot of love and for a long time I couldn't said any better you know what I say now enough talking and let's, let's do, do it, it. It's pork time, baby. deal is uh, you guys are here to eat we need you to eat it eat it as much as you want all right yeah, all right you. that's enough let's do it
Unbelievable. Thank you, Guga. Thank you, everybody, for letting us enjoy this with you. So I'm not sure if this is the pork, the Wagyu cow, or the angel meat, but I'm looking forward to trying it. Oh, that's definitely angel. That's definitely angel. <laughs> it's really good. Really good. It's great. I love it. Here's the scoop. That's just on a different level, so it's good. But put all capital letters with exclamation points. Amazing. Is that good? Yeah! Give me five. yeah. Awesome. <laughs> My daughter right here, y'all. Wow, that was a lot of work, Jeremy. It was a ton of work. I'm that still was, sweating. I know. I am exhausted, everybody. I think Jeremy as well. It's fair to say that I think we did a good job. I think so. If, if the people's reactions is any indication, we did a good job. I know. I don't know if we can top this one, but <laughs> I love to hear your comments, what you guys think. Make sure you put it down in the comments down below and let us know. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. And remember, this was not done by just me and Jeremy. There was a lot of people that help us. This is for a lot of people, and I'm gonna put everybody on the description, right? Make sure you check out every single one of them. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.